Hello students, in this video we'll talk about uh, what is option contract and uh, how to take a decision under an option contract. So first of all, the definition of option contract. Remember that uh, an option contract is a right to do something, but not the obligation to do something. So for example, if you are entering into an option contract with someone, so you are getting the right to decide, but it's not your obligation to do something. And you will take the position of uh, a buyer of the option. That means you will purchase the option and the person who is selling that option, the seller of option is option writer. Now, in order to uh, enter into an option contract, the buyer has to pay a fee and that fee is called option premium so buyer always pay option premium now question come in, in come in the mind that uh, what is the benefit of option writer in order to enter into an option contract because the buyer has the right but not the obligation and the seller has an obligation so the writer always try to enter into a contract uh, in order to get that premium and uh, the intention of the option writer is that the, the buyer of the option will not exercise the contract. So buyer either can exercise the contract if it is favorable or lapse the contract if it is unfavorable. The option contract can be classified as a call option or a put option. So a buyer either buy a call option or the buyer can buy a put option. If a buyer has purchased a call option, it means there is a right to buy something, but not the obligation to buy something. And if the buyer has uh, bought put option, then it's a right to sell something, but not the obligation to sell something. For example, uh, a call option has been purchased against the currency. So it means that I have the right to buy a foreign currency, but not the obligation to buy foreign currency. And similarly, put option means I have the right to sell foreign currency, but not the obligation to sell foreign currency. The price at which an option contract is uh, uh, agreed is called the exercise price or it will be strike price. So that is the price at which option can be exercised by the buyer. Buyer has to pay premium to writer, which is non-refundable. So in case if you exercise or do not exercise, uh, the loss is the premium. As far as the maturity is concerned, option contract can be of two types. It might be an American option or an European option. The American option can be exercised before maturity, means it can be exercised before the maturity date, but in European contract, option contract can only be exercised at maturity. It cannot be exercised before the maturity. Now, if you talk about a call option, then it, it will be in the money call option or out of the money call option. In the money call option means that you have uh, opted a favorable position or you have you got a favorable position and if a call option is in the money that means you always exercise but if the call option is out of the money it's an unfavorable situation so just lapse the option contract and whatever you want to buy just buy from the outside market not from the option contract similarly in case of a put option where you where you have a right to sell it will be in the money that is favorable then exercise the contract and if it is out of the money unfavorable then lapse the contract now how we can decide that in a contract is in the money or out of the money so in case of call option in the money means that if market price of the underlying is greater than the exercise or strike price then the contract is in the money and it should be exercised out of the money. If market price is less than the strike price, then it is 
advisable to lapse the contract. For example, you have purchased a share option at a strike price of $50. Now the market price of the share goes to $60. In that case, the option is in the money and there is a payoff of $10 that is the buyer's profit, ignoring option premium. Similarly, in case of put option, the put option will be in the money if market price is less than strike price. So for example, you have entered into a contract to sell a share at $50 and the market price goes, uh, for example, uh, $40, then it is beneficial to exercise this option. And if market price is greater than a strike price, then it is beneficial to sell it outside the option market and it will be a lapse contract out of the money. For example, exercise price is 50 and the market price goes to 60. Then it is beneficial to sell out to the outside market that is out of the money, better to sell in market. So lapse and the premium will be lost. The only loss is the loss of premium. So you have to decide by looking towards the market price situation, either you have to exercise a call option or lapse the call option or exercise the put option or lapse the put option. Let's talk about uh, the foreign currency option. So for example, you are an importer and uh, an importer has to pay the foreign currency. So importer wants to buy currency because the risk is that the foreign currency might be appreciated. So an importer will buy a call option, a right to buy foreign currency, but not the obligation to buy foreign currency. So what will be the importers decide? If foreign currency appreciates, then the contract will be exercised. And in case of exporter, the exporter want to sell currency. So what would be the relevant contract? Exporter will buy a put option against the foreign currency and the risk is depreci depreciation of the foreign currency. So if foreign currency depreciated, then exercise the option and if foreign currency appreciated, then lapse the contract. For example, today is 1st January 2020. Expected receipt for an exporter is $2,000 in three months time. The risk is that the foreign currency will be depreciated. The spot price is 1 GBP is equal to 1.40 USD. An exporter is looking for uh, to hatch this receipt against the option contract. So as the case is receipt, so he will buy a put option. So exercise price of the put option is 1.44 USD. Now, at the maturity, the rate becomes 1.48. One GBP is now 1.48. It means that uh, the local currency has been appreciated and foreign currency has become depreciated. So what was the risk? Risk was the depreciation of foreign currency. So what would be our decision? As local currency is appreciated and foreign currency depreciated, so exercise the option at 1.44. Now, in that case, I'll pay to the writer against 2000 USD at the rate of exercise price. How much GBP I, I'll pay? That is 1388. Now, think about that. If that was not the position, we, we haven't entered into an option contract. So, similar, simply we have to sell at a rate of 1.48 and you will get GBP 1351. As a result of entering into an option contract, how much is the benefit? The benefit is 37 GBP. And if we will not enter into an option contract, there will be a loss of not hedging that is GBP 37, ignoring the option premium. So this is the benefit of uh, entering into an option contract that you have a position. You will check the position if it is beneficial for you, that is in the money, you will exercise the option contract. And if it is out of the money, then simply lapse the option contract.